below there I'm marking here and uh, this is going to be my third tutorial and this time I'll be calculating agricultural and settlement damage caused by flood and I'll be using ArcGIS here and the tools I'll be using are raster calculator, fuzzy membership, weighted sum and a zonal statistics as table so first let me go and add the data the data I have are two raster layers uh, which are the flood inundation depth and Shirajgan's land use so and, uh, here I can see that uh, Shirajgan's land use uh, we have five classes the agriculture, settlements, bare soil, water and sandbar and uh, here we have the values for flood inundation depth Again, we are going to add the vector data which is the um, boundary for the Shirajgan's uh, villa and I'm not going to need this for now first I'll be using the raster calculator and here I'll use um, the Shirajgan's land use raster layer and uh, which is equals to 1 I'll be using uh, this function to uh, use take out the agriculture and I'm going to create a folder um, a path for okay, let's go here I'll be creating a folder named output and here I'm going to go and type uh, agriculture underscore export dot dot so I'll press ok and hopefully this is going to give me a layer and this is the one and this here uh, the zero means the uh, places where no agriculture exists and one are the places with agriculture uh, in existence and I'm going to do this again with um, settlements so I'm going to uh, write two here and actually set the path to settlement get another layer uh, and here also the green sorry the blue ones the deeper blues they are the ones where settlements exist uh, actually I should give them the red color for better identification and uh, next I will go to raster layer again and I will multiply flood, flood inundation depth with uh, agriculture first and uh, I will set the path to agriculture mind is I have to select the raster analysis and cell size to minimum of inputs here and uh, then I will press ok so I will get another raster layer and this is for agriculture and I am going to use settlement exposure uh, multiply again uh, flood inundation depth with settlement exposure and this time I'm going to get the settlement damage flood damage dot di and also here I'm going to um, say name of inputs and press ok and so I get another layer with settlement flood damage and now I will be using the fuzzy membership here I will give the agricultural damage first and output file will be named agricultural ok let's do that later I will first use this uh, linear and minimum damage will be 0 but max maximum damage uh, for agriculture is uh, selected to be 1 uh, as we know that uh, the paddy or wheat they mostly mm, remain under 1 meter so I'll select maximum as 1 and uh, the more the flooding the damage will be uh, maximum so maximum 1 is the threshold for maximum and uh, the output raster will be I 
I uh, press scan on and this will give me another restaurant there. Here I have the value of low 0 and high 1. And fuzzy membership again and input restaurant there will be settlements. So using settlement flood damage and uh, here the linear uh, this maximum value will be set to 3 for uh, about um, most of the buildings in rural areas are about 3 meters high so 3 meter flood level will uh, mostly damage uh, will cause maximum damage um, we presume uh, sorry for that and we will name this uh, segment damage 3 meter and save this Everything's fine. I mean, everything's okay. So we get another layer. Uh, this time with the fuzzy membership, and it's done. And now we'll go to uh, weighted sum. In weighted sum, we will uh, use the settlement damage three and agricultural, agricultural damage one. So for weight, we take that the settlement damage three has one lakh eighty thousand uh, taka damage per you know, per pixel, not per pixel, uh, per pixel actually, um, which is, which will be presumably thirty meter by thirty meter. Okay, and agricultural damage will be we presume. 500 taka. So, in this file, we will name the combined damage and save that. Last, I will be using the journal statistics table. Here, I will input the combined, uh, sorry, the boundary shape file, and uh, I'll be uh, classifying them according to their union names. So this is this one. It is the input value for raster will be combined damage, and I'll get a table. So I have to name it something, and this will be uh, damage table. sum as the statistics type and press ok so hopefully the table is, is going to be added here ok this is the one so let's open it and see our uh, results and as we can see that we have the uh, sum of uh, agricultural damage in Taka according to their areas and count for in according to their union names uh, all of them and uh, this is our result so thank you for watching and uh, pardon me for the mistakes I'm still learning <laughs>